All right, we're gonna do a little demo of how to hollow out a piece in ZBrush. This one's already been done. This uh, is the upper tooth of my TikiBot character, but you can see after we do the hollow command and I have double-sided on, so you can actually see inside, you can see the walls and it's nice and smooth and it works pretty, pretty nicely. There's a couple of caveats that I've discovered along the way and uh, we'll go over those in a second. So let's call up the next piece. We're gonna do the lower teeth and here are the pieces now this is already this is before I've decimated so let me go ahead and um, mask off an area to you so I'm just gonna basically go in here and create a little opening here for that let's uh, clean it up a little bit all right, we're going to extract this off, turn this on. <clears throat> we go to this object, it has some strays, get rid of those. Delete hidden under geometry, bam. And we're going to also, I like to do the zebra mesh just because it's pretty tight on there. Go ahead and just smooth it out. I'm just going to do a quick uh, zebra mesh on it. A thousand polys. Boom. Nice and small. All right, let's go now and specify this to be under um, the three little icons here is union, subtraction, and um, intersection. So we'll pick the cutter to be a Boolean. Go to the object that's going to be cut and we will drop it down by merging it. And now go into DynaMesh. And I went up this about, to about 200 for this particular resolution. <clears throat> I'm going to show you two ways. If you have Project On and you hit Create Shell, you're going to get a tiny bit of weirdness. Um, oops, I have to clear the mask first. Where's the mask? Clear it. All right, let's try this one more time. Create Shell. There we go. All right, so you can see if I isolate part of this. There's a lot of weird jaggies in here, and it looks like the shell is not closing off correctly. Um, and I think I, it's, I think I might have read about this before, or, or just found it on my own. But you have to uh, turn off project when you, um, so you're not reprojecting that detail on. So if I undo that, and then we'll try taking this off, and now we'll do the create shell. There we go. That looks pretty good. So if I now isolate. And we look in the middle. There we go. Looks pretty good. You can see the walls are all intact. There's no spikes happening on the walls. And uh, it looks pretty good. Actually, I'm going to try one more. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put a, quite a, a small bit of polish on as I do the create shell. <clears throat> I had already done some editing on this model um, when I was doing the initial booleans from the body. So that's why it's a little low res. But I just wanted to do a quick little polish there to clean up just a tad. And it's looking pretty good. Go ahead and isolate that. And it looks pretty nice. Awesome. So the next step then is this: once this piece is hollowed out, is we'll take it into Decimation Master. Let me close my 3D print exporter. We'll go back to Decimation Master and pre-process the current. And then we'll uh, drop this down from, what is that, 549,000 points. I'll drop it down to probably 10%. Um, I'll pause this and start up again when the processing is done. And pre-processing is done. All right, let me turn on the uh, wireframe so you can kind of see what the mesh looks like before. This is from a DynaMesh. And let me actually uh, make that all one polygroup just, just so there's no confusion. And we're going to try a uh, decimation of 10%. And you can see what it did. It triangulated nicely. And... The detail looks pretty good. If I go before and after, you'll see that it's it's holding up pretty nicely. Um, we could try going 5%. Let's see if that gets us. Starts getting a little bit more fasting. The thing is, I haven't had too much experience with sending a ton of prints back and forth to, to know what's going to be visible in the print. But um, you know, for this this piece is going to probably print out at uh, like 
two inches wide. I think I'm going to do a smaller two to three inches wide on this one. So actually probably like two and a half inches. So I think um, just enough so that these grooves um, are visible should be fine. I think I might take it back up. This might be overkill, but I'm going to do 10% just because I think that give me a decent amount of detail there. And that's that. So um, yeah, definitely uh, hollow out your pieces before you upload because it will save you a ton of money, like all that volume that we're getting rid of by hollowing it out. All right, so there you go. Thanks for watching, and um, happy 3D printing.